Good afternoon, this is Jared Horak for HorseracingNation.com. This is our video feature race of the week. Uh, again, we're gonna do a Kentucky Derby prep race this week for Saturday, March 19th. We're gonna travel to Hot Springs, Arkansas. Uh, Oakland Park Race 10, the Grade 2 Rebel. This is a $900,000 race for three-year-olds traveling a mile and a 16th on the main track and then 85 Kentucky Derby points on, on the line here. 50 for the win, 20 for the second, 10 for third, and five for finishing fourth. We have a full 14 horse field. We have two horses, um, two entries in here. Uh, the first coupled entry, a creator uh, and mad tap for trainer Steve Asmussen. Our second coupled entry, Z Royal and Gray Sky for trainer D. Wayne Lucas. Now your early speed horses in here, it looks like Rayless uh, for, for trainer Doug O'Neill. He's gonna show some speed. American Dubai, a uh, Gray Sky, we mentioned that one for, for D. Wayne Lucas, and then Siding Spring. I think those horses are gonna be involved in the early pace. The pace should be honest in this big full field, and maybe one of the stalkers that can stay out of trouble could be the most dangerous. But the big, the big late running danger in here, sudden breaking news, breaking from post position 14, and he won the grade three Southwest stakes from post position 13, and he went last to first that day. That was an impressive late, late turn of foot, and uh, now again, he's gonna have to come from, from well out, out of it. He has six career starts with three wins and three seconds, so he's very consistent uh, for, for such a big late runner, and, and look for him to try to get involved late from that outside post. Whitmore was second in the Southwest. He's another contender in here, and he was a troubled second that day from post position two. Now this time he draws post position 12. Now that could mean he's gonna get hung out wide or if he's able to fall into a decent tactical trip, maybe post position 12 will help him stay out of the traffic trouble that he found last time in the Southwest. Cherry Wine uh, for trainer Dale Romans. Uh, this one will break from post position 13. Uh, he has back-to-back -back blowout wins coming into this race uh, from Churchill Downs, and then he broke his maiden at Gulfstream Park. Actually, he broke his maiden at Churchill Downs, excuse me. Then he won at Gulfstream Park last time out. Now, they were gonna run him in the Fountain of Youth Stakes, but he got a virus, he missed that race. He's been redirected here, and, and he'll, he'll get tested for class for sure. A Cupid for trainer Bob Baffert. Bob Baffert's had a lot of success when he, when he shipped his horses to Oakland Park in the past for these Kentucky Derby prep races. Last year, obviously American Pharaoh, but, but other years as well. When he ships a horse to Oakland Park, they're usually well meant. Well, this one's gonna break from post position three. Originally, they wanted to run him in the Sunland Derby. That race got canceled, so they ended up, uh, they were gonna run him in the San Felipe last weekend, but Baffert changed his mind. He wanted to come uh, for the Rebel Stakes, and he did have a bullet work last week, six furlongs and 111 and change uh, for this Rebel Stakes. Uh, he was a nice maiden winner in his third career start. They ran him in a couple of sprints. They stretched him out last time at Santa Anita. He got the less the, the best last race speed figure for that two-turn win at Santa Anita, and he looks like he should be a contender uh, versus this group. And then discreteness, rounding out my, my contenders in here. Seven career starts with four wins, uh, no seconds and no thirds. And he was eight wide from post 14 in the Southwest. He ended up finishing seventh in that 14 horse field, beaten a total of 10 lengths. This time from post position four, I think he's gonna be able to, to have a much better trip. He was first in the Smarty Jones uh, prior to the Southwest, and then he won the Springboard Mile before that, beating sudden breaking news. Uh, so this one looks like a solid threat stalking the pace, and he's gonna be my top choice. I'm going with discreteness. I love that post position switch. He'll be sitting that right trip a few lengths off the lead, and hopefully he can stalk and pounce, get the jump on horses like sudden breaking news. I do like sudden breaking news and Whitmore uh, as well for underneath, but Cupid's my other wing contender for Bob Baffert. I think he's got a lot of talent, Good pedigree. He's getting good at the right time, and I think Baffert made the right move of bringing him to this spot. Well drawn as well. This is how we're going to play this one. We're going to play, make us for our forty dollars wagers, oh, sixteen dollars. We're going to make a win wager oh, on discreteness. We're going to play a six dollars exacta box with Cupid and discreteness, and then we're going to play a three dollars exacta. We're going to put Cupid and discreteness on top of Whitmore and sudden breaking news. Of those total wagers, $16 for the win. That $6 exacta box is 12, and that $3 exacta with my two top choices over uh, the two others, that one's 12. Total of $40. Now you can go over to horseracingnation.wordpress.com to see my exceptional 11 Kentucky Derby contenders. Still sitting at number one and number two, Mo Heyman and More Spirit. Now More Spirit lost last week, but he ran a good race. He's gonna maintain that number two ranking. Now there will be a bit of a shakeup. Brody's cause was my number three horse, and he didn't run well. He didn't pick up his feet in that Tampa Bay Derby, won by Destin. 
uh, and, and outwork was second, both trained by Todd Pletcher. Uh, but back to the San Felipe and more spirit. That was a good effort coming from off the pace. Danzig Candy wired the field. Good speed figure that day. He got a 100 buyer speed figure. More spirit rallied from the back. It was an obvious prep. Uh, he looks like he wants more ground. And then in the Santa Anita Derby, maybe he can turn the tables on Danzig Candy. And then Exaggerator was number five on my list. And he finished third. I thought that was a premature move. Slow start. He was too far back. Kent DeSormo, a big move. Uh, too too early. And then he ended up flattening out. More spirit passed him for second. Not a bad effort overall, but he still has some distance questions to answer. Now, if you want a, some free, more free plays, you can go over to pick6blog.com. I have... Uh, pick six, uh, pick four, uh, pick three tickets, uh, and just go over there to picksixblog.com. You'll see some free plays every day that Southern California races. Uh, pick six carryover tickets as well. You can go over to horseracingnation.com for my play of the day. Uh, seven days a week, I have a play of the day posted at horseracingnation.com. Go over to the play of the day section for my, my free plays there. Next week, we have the Louisiana Derby as our video play of the day. Until then, Good luck at the races.